And we are live in Cleveland. Uh, what you're looking at right here, this is the public square. Uh, so we are just blocks away right now from the Republican National Convention. And uh, right where I'm standing, right in the heart of downtown Cleveland, this is where people uh, are gathering to protest. So this is pretty much a speech, uh, a free zone, a free speech zone. So you have people from different backgrounds, religions, cultures, and they're all gathering here. And they all have very different outlooks uh, on what their America should look like. So as you can imagine, a lot of tension here today. In fact, uh, late this afternoon, tensions boiled over. I, I think that we have some video to show you um, and what you're about to see. This is uh, when, in the last couple of hours, Black Lives Matter ralliers converged and the entire park was sealed off. Uh, so officers started moving in. I know that media, uh, such as myself, we were moved back. Uh, the Mountie unit was called in. Officers started putting on their riot gear and, uh, you know, just taking some extra precautions. And what we're hearing is that it was a death um, or rather Rather, the shooting of a Kansas City police officer that happened today when news of that spread here officers quickly moved into uh, the protest worried that there could be a copycat in the crowd but uh, calm has settled in uh, nothing like that came about um, but many special interest groups here today as I said uh, from all different backgrounds and this is what we're expecting over the next week and uh, so here's a look at some of the people I've met so far during my afternoon here in Cleveland I created him because Donald Trump is essentially the ventriloquist dummy of the Republican Party. Dummy? There's another dummy running for president? Unfortunately, there is. You're trumped up. Yeah. Is that what you call this look? No. Yeah. Trumped yeah. up. The heart of downtown Cleveland has been transformed into a soapbox for those who believe they know what's best for their country. Anybody else want to debate Donald Trump? I'm here all day. <laughs> It's in this square where Trump supporters are coming face to face with the anti-Trump movement. This dummy is very dangerous. He preaches racism, sexism, and xenophobia. Xenophobia? Is that a fear of Zegras? No, it's a fear of anything foreign, like Trump's plan to ban Muslims. Theatrics aside, the issues being laid out here are very real. In video, so the racism is dangerous. Hey, Differences on race and religion are clearly dividing a nation. I am everything man, woman, son, daughter. I am. I will take you on. This is what is going to ruin America, not me. This is America. Everybody should be able to peacefully assemble and, and speak their minds, you know, without being scared of even coming out. We saw our very first assault rifle swung over the shoulders of two men heading to the public square to join a protest. Oh, I am Canadian, so I don't necessarily <laughs> get the, the whole gun yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but did you come with this, I mean, what is this, an assault weapon, oh, rifle? Oh, oh it, it? it might even be scarier than an assault rifle. It's not here to, for self-defense. It's here to get attention and draw attention to the fact that we are standing in solidarity with the people that Trump would oppress. We've never seen this before, the Republican convention. It's never been like this before this, so. Does it make you nervous to know that these protesters say that they're coming armed? Yes, very, very nervous. That's why I'm going straight home. I just got off work, I go straight home. You just don't want to be a part of it. No, I don't. Now, for the last few hours here, it's been very touch and go. For instance, uh, about 30 minutes ago, uh, that man you just saw in my story carrying that assault rifle, he was actually walking here uh, along the grass, and all of a sudden you just saw a crush of police run in this direction, and it turns out it was just him. And here in Ohio, uh, as you heard me say, there is an open carry law. So, of course, there was nothing they could do, and the man uh, just Standing continued Standing with him, Ivanka and, uh, and Eric Trump. My family. Eric, Ivanka, Vanessa, Laura, Tiffany, everyone here, all of our supporters in the great state of New York, even in the places that aren't so conservative, we've had such incredible support, you won't believe it. We're going to put New York into play this time around. Yeah. I have the incredible honor of not only being a part of the ride that's been this election process and to watch 
as a small fly on the wall what my father has done in creating this movement, because it's not a campaign anymore, it's a movement. Speaking to real Americans, giving them a voice again. And it is my honor to be able to throw Donald Trump over the top in the delegate count tonight with 89 delegates and the United States for John Kasich. Congratulations, Dad! We love you!